Hi, my name is Lindsay Meredith. I'm a graphic designer and I specialize in custom lettering, logo design, and illustration. In this class, Hand Lettering to Refine Vector, I'm going to go over the three primary ways I use to take my lettering from paper to refine vector. I don't know about you, but when it comes time to vectorizing my lettering, I want two things, efficiency and control. I want to have control of the flow and the curves of all of my lettering until everything feels just right. Over time so far, I have narrowed it down to three primary methods that I use. Each method that I use is heavily dictated by the kind of style of lettering I'm looking to achieve. Each method comes with a different tool used in Illustrator, as well as a slightly different constructing method. I will start off by sharing my hand lettering process on paper. I always work to establish a solid concept and line work before executing refinement in vector. Now, here's a brief overview of the three vectorization methods. Method 1 will cover the amazing control of the pen tool and the types of lettering it works best for. I know what you're thinking, the pen tool is challenging, but it's well worth the hard learning curve. And I have some great tips. Method 2 covers the ease and expressive nature of creating custom brushes in Illustrator. Lastly, we will learn about the newer width tool, which with the right style of lettering can be very efficient and quickly create beautiful flow. In this class, I'll also be providing two Illustrator files with some hands-on exercises that will really help you get a feel for these three methods. Once you've completed the class and the projects, you will be ready to start your own hand lettering to vector refine project. See you in class.